Of course there's bunnies here. And here at Blue Bunny, we employ the world's best bunnies. This statement sent me down a rabbit hole of research into the behavior of these cute and cuddly creatures. I learned all sorts of things, like apparently there is a dominance hierarchy, and both sexes are very aggressive towards lower ranking members. Also, the shows of dominance can last for weeks and include mounting, chasing, biting, scratching, and fur pulling, which seems oddly similar to my Saturday nights, but that's a story for another time. So, once dominance is achieved, the top bunny has won the right to demand and grooming, which to be honest seems hardly worth the effort. Imagine biting and scratching people for a week and then after everyone is so fed up with your sh** that they just name you king so you'll stop trying to mount them, you turn around and request a haircut. Just saying, it sounds like there is a lot of money to be made in Zootopia for that first industrious rabbit who opens up a barber shop. Now, since my recent enlightenment regarding the social complexities that can exist within the fluffle did not include any mention of a particular quality that makes one bunny better than another bunny at making ice cream, I'm calling out Blue Bunny for unfair hiring practices. To create fun frozen treats for people like you. This patronizing rabbit hole thinks that my lactose and tolerant asshole would in any way be having fun after eating one of its so-called treats. And don't come back at me with any talk of dairy-free options. That's just sorbet, but they've replaced the main ingredient with lies. Alright, I'll give back all the sins if one of these little bunnies found a little rabbit-sized door somewhere in this office and on the other side of that door was a tunnel that leads inside the head of former governor of Illinois, John Malkovich. Then we'd see one of these little furballs shimmy their way down the tunnel, and by shimmy, I am in fact referring to the ragtime dance move. After which they would spend about 15 minutes living out life as the president of the San Antonio Spurs before we see a rightfully confused hare being tossed out onto the side of the Stelvio Pass in Italy. But until then, all we've got is no explanation as to how this company ended up occupying the seven and a half floor of the Merton Flemmer building, which despite being too small for humans is still not proportionally appropriate for rabbits either. Commercial really tries to gild the Sunday by having each attendee eat a specified ice cream product while standing next to the corresponding poster for said ice cream product because God forbid we see a chocolate cone next to the poster for a strawberry cup. How would we ever figure out how to buy that at the store? Who wants to try our new twist on soft serve? Poop jokes. Also, it turns out the American Blue Rabbit is actually a thing. Real blue bunnies have been roaming the earth for years and I'm just now finding this out from a f***ing ice cream commercial. How is this so soft? I'm not going to discount this response because I myself have never orgasmed from eating ice cream. But his shoulders cannot be here and there, and there still be enough room in this drop ceiling for light fixtures and ductwork, and yes, even little bunny-sized ductwork. As for the issues with this office, I would venture to say bunnies don't need chairs, but even if they wanted them, there is no way these chairs would be considered ergonomically appropriate for a rabbit, a human, or a platypus for that matter. So when your entire workforce is calling out because of back pain, don't say I didn't warn you. Also, cubicles. Also, also, having this many files on your desktop. Also, 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 having all the same files on your desktop. Of course there's bunnies here. Assuming rabbits are notoriously good at business administration. Oh, that's a good comb. Trusting the opinion of a man who just put his head through the ceiling. Blue Bunny, we make fun. No, you make ice cream, which may be delicious, but deliciousness and fun are not the same thing. I had one of the best burgers in my life after suffering a broken wrist and a concussion. It was a decidedly delicious meal, but I was decidedly not having any fun at the time either. This goes to show you that marketing like this is little more than an attempt to make us ease the pain of our short, pointless existence on this planet with unhealthy doses of sugary frozen milk candy. Also, loaded as a term is already being shared by how I like my baked potatoes and how baked I get myself on Saturday nights. After the fur pulling, of course. So I don't care if you want to try and set yourself apart by butchering the spelling at the behest of vocabulary teachers everywhere, I will always view your product through the lens of an intoxicated baked potato. I have no patience for lactose, and I won't stand for it. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also, subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee.